Wisconsin. So, W is to move, interact Z, menu is X, shift to run. Okay, so Z, X. Alright, pretty standard. Episode 1, The Coffin. Can you see it okay? Yeah. So, who wants to do whose voice? I don't. I don't want to voice this. Lele, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and with you. Trying to translate. Okay, so I see a three-letter word with e in the middle. Ask her to prom with you. Yeah, maybe. I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Good morning, Ashley. Back. Much you love feeling sorry for yourself. It is a time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go. Fucked on this bed. <laughs> Whatever, just leave it. <laughs> God, machines at the load. Side of the men. There are only so many times you can brew the same ground, so no more coffee in this house. Dirty laundry. Alarm clock is ticking away. Cool. Show them the tomato can. Ta-da! Not the reaction you were hoping for. <laughs> Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to a little longer. 
quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know it was in... Because I hid it there, away from you. <gasps> gasp! Is she actually saying gasp? No, I think she... she's gasping. No, she seems like the type who would audibly say gasp. I live at a den of snakes. Ah, <sighs> don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them. Screw our future selves. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. Good day, are you still alive in there? Hello, you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living either. Ah, I'll take that as yes, still alive. Don't blame me for the delivery, guys. Can you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, no, not my job. I'll check it on you again later. Bye. No, wait, 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 come back. He doesn't. God damn it. <sighs> Sigh. You boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. Give them a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. Use all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again? Wanna go take a peek? Nope. It'll come along if you do. Here, watch. Got a balcony key. Yeah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to put like a plank. I know this one. You have to put what? Down? You have to put a plank. Okay. You have to go find a plank. Oh, okay. Somewhere in your. Yeah, you're kind of being quiet. Oh, oh, oh! You knock, knock down the thing. Go grab the, go grab the bookshelf. Cross. Yeah. I was about to say that probably would grab me where I get a plank from. Watch TV. Ah, <sighs> the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Ah, <sighs> what a pain. It's fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. Always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, well, it was you. It is. Yeah, let's see. Well, it's a cooler, so there wouldn't have any batteries in that. Hmm, what about for the clock? Yeah! Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow, amazing. You did such a bang-up job. More. How oh, you heaven sent God's gift to humanity. How did I ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches battery like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit too. It's starting. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We have announced that all apartments to which the tainted water have been delivered have been secured. It's been three months since the first incident was discovered. The death toll is now a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those who are at risk have been extended by another two weeks. 
Oh my god, it's COVID! It's COVID! It's COVID! COVID! No, COVID! No, no, it's the chemical spill that happened or before. And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite infested bodies far, far away from us. Sorry, the parasite thank you for your continued consideration for the pu to the public safety. Couldn't at least give us some medicine that would kill parasites? Come on. That's all for today. Uh, the, the parasite the parasite supposedly causes uh, incest thoughts. That's a peculiar thing for a parasite to do, but then again, parasites make cats get uh, make mice get eaten, make snails get eaten. So yeah, parasites can mess with your brain. Going to bed. You decided to do the same. Yeah, we're going to bed together. Wait, mom, where are you going? Me and your fellow will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom. Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. There's sticks and needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker! There we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay at home? It's also in your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything's well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not... See what happens if not. Wow, these fucking nurse is terrible. It's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley. Please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer effort, so I'm really busy. So I doesn't enter there with you? What if you need me to pass you for you for? You get to laze around day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I gotta go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. You're reminiscing all night. You wake up, as one does. So ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Hey. Picked up some laundry. Picked up some laundry. Trash your liar, hope your dreams. Exactly where they belong. Like me, in the trash. I belong there. I'm going to get this clean with your bare hands. We need to find a washcloth, something. You're used to filling your stomach with water, but it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Hmm. Made up some books. Cleaned up some books. Cleaned up some books. Turn all the books to the shelf. How else could you clean? Yeah, I didn't see a laundry bag yeah. or anything anywhere. <laughs> yeah, make the woman clean. I mean, there is another room you're not going into. Yeah, I didn't see that completely. Ah, here we go. Got a mop. Sergeant, drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. Eat some more laundry. And I just flushed the toilet. No pee jokes? Come on. Their very supplies are just trash bags. Cool. Bunch of printed movies. Their due date past ages. Oh, what can you do? VHS player. Cannot be eaten. Did I miss a piece of laundry? I can't tell. What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Think of it. Do we even have any detergent left? Um, uh, I didn't see when I was in there. Crap. You did. I saw it. There's all joy in the ginger. A very, very quiet. In all capital letters. No, sorry. It's Andy and Lele in the very, very quiet. It's original vision clearly intended. Their artistic abilities have not increased since. How old are they supposed to be? 20 and that she's 20 and he's 22. If they act like they're seven, eh, what else is there to take care of? Then again, I guess if you're stuck in like this all day, you're not going to really mature that much. Got the dirt. Cool. I told you not to overdo it. 
You have so few calories, you can't move around too much or work too hard. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supplies for just in the quarantine households. Oh boy, are we pleased to announce that all of this has been taken care of? Yes. Does it look like I'm eating right now? I don't know. Let your mind all you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything for you. Everything is taken care of. If you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administering bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope this clears things up a bit. Come on, Jeanette. She is Our brand new boy. art museum will be. <laughs> if you wish to help. The effect of the parasites is people just stop giving a fuck. If, if you wish to help us. people, if you, if you feel the urge to help people, shh, <laughs> shh. Too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course, what is it? <laughs> Got some funion, by the way. The assistant tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone's talking the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. Sound more and more upset as I talk, though. Well, that's. I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but. No. I mean, yes, but that doesn't. No, I'm not angry, I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. There's some loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about... You would don't... Lele and Ashley have the time to think. You just can't anymore. So, that's it then? Now it's quiet on both ends. Well... Alright, I guess. What else is there to say? I'm sorry. Though I really don't see why I should be held accountable for it. Was it? My ex girlfriend, apparently. <coughs> oh, she's done film? Why is that? Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite infested homebody and that's apparently per perma quarantine? Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. God, it's such a bitch. Yeah. He puts up with all of her shit. She should be kinder to her brother. There must have been something. More there is a, there is an ending where there is an ending where he killed her. Uh huh. Spoilers. Thanks for that. Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you Fuck finally you. fall asleep again. Fuck you. You don't deserve to have to be spoiler warned. Now you've been out for who knows how long. I figure you should check on your brother. No, he's on the balcony, remember, dumbass? Yeah, I know. It's been a while. Could could have been moved back to the bedroom. Some of your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Tell her be surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they have their sirens blaring for a corpse. The one you supposed to be yeah. No idea. Nobody showed up when you faded. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Think they'd bring me food if I got preg? Nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? And we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body? He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. Get this. Excuse the hell of me for exploring my options here. Woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it's just a thought. Jackass. I had to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business. We were just too exhausted. After sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, I fully revitalized and burst with energy. How did she have tits that big? If she's starving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling really energetic. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? Where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? Hmm. Actually, if they're looking at anything. Alright, I guess there's not much to it. Go ahead and save here. Save these nuts. Yep. Yeah, sunscreen the 
block is sent in the door in, or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that cooling bar from the other side somehow? What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging the door, I won't bring you any food tonight. You won't either way! Says you, the liver will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door, or next I'll be banging your head against the wall. And Man's banging footsteps. your sister. Man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. But I guess we'll see. See who did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. <sighs> Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So. Parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. I think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. The nurse never came back either. Like, you don't want to monitor us? Uh, who cares? Me, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Oh, I don't. When I jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race you. Oh, seriously, let's go. Let's not. Oh, I appreciate your eagerness to join me. A bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. With such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our man will get so tangled up that have to burst together in the same coffin. Might as well we could find together in this coffin in the apartment before it feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked. I should get my head checked? Okay. Why did your girlfriend dumped you? These are your plans for romance. Romance? I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something as... Neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again, I wish he just... You feel like you should check up on that. I guess maybe it worked this time? <laughs> My boy should come. I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? Um, uh, I don't have much to give right now. Let me get out here. Give me anything you wish. Is that good? As you wish. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Howard. Darkness clouds your vision. You cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision turns, the entity is vanished. On the ground lay of a lifeless body of worlds. So, um, am I already delirious or did you see that too? Did we, uh, do you want to check on him? Or at least want to turn off that CD player? That's what you're concerned about? I have not listened to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. Make it sound like we're going to die any day now. I'm not, there's gotta be something this guy has to eat. Ooh, Berkeley time. Shut up, let's get in there. I'm taunting you from the other side of the glass. Look for a knife. Yep, I see one already. Getting the jackpot too fine. A wall with 666 bucks and 66 cents. I've got a real moral dilemma here. Just look at Dead Man's Mall, will you? Keep it. No, split it with him. Split it with him. Yeah, split it with him. Duh, aren't you sweet? I'll use some of mine to treat you someday. Nice. Both the 
fridge and freezer empty. Tablet says the book titled Demon Summoning for Dummies, Volume 666. Now they actually have 665 all for this one, or she asked the important questions. What I want to know is who the hell wrote it in the first place? Undisclosed. Off must be shy. Either way, we can browse this later. Let's keep our focus on the task at hand. Bathroom smells of feces and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. Mm hmm A cleaver. Alright. So, you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First, you chop off the cultist. Left. Yeah, we'll go over the left. Stop this right arm. Can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. Now, can you get something plastic back or something? I'll take care of the rest of the meanwhile, I guess. Counting on you. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. Is it moral to do this? What now? Is it moral to do this? I mean... The ethical questions of cannibalism are another thing entirely, but this is a survival situation. Well, is it, is it ethical to eat the guy in this situation? I mean, if there's nothing else to eat... Right leg, right arm. Left leg, left arm. No problems in jump. Well, the man's going to have to put the whole torso with him. I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Or just fold him over? I don't think this is going to work. Watch and learn. Be looking out the window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Isn't this is going to? Ta da! <laughs> God, no! Don't make me laugh at this! I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. <laughs> alright, alright, enough. Got limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll set the torso ahead in this freezer for now. Then I'll cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite, some, quite the something. Alright, what do you think? Meatballs or steak? I mean, we don't have any spa new spaghetti noodles, but meatballs are good. If we had a sandwich, we could make some meatball subs. Let's see. Well, I didn't get a good look at his limb size. Imagine the arm. Right leg. Yeah, go right leg. I mean, it's gotta be something like chicken legs, right? Although I've heard mm. that human tastes like pork. Dinner's ready. Hmm. Alright, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Mm. Mm. Oh, what? Uh, you already... Okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. Ugh. I don't think he likes it. But it's wretched. No, you don't. Swallow. Hey, that's what I said to help you last night. <laughs> nice. Go! Well, well, how was it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love! If you're not leaving the table before you flip the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Quit your gagging, you big baby. Nagging, oh, nagging, right. nagging, nagging. Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy, I'm so proud. Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a bunch. Now curl the table so leave me alone. Got a very limited set of spices left. What do you think I should try next? Like, I don't... Maybe coriander? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm out to bed now. Night, night. Yeah, good night. And then they got freaky in the bed! Not yet. You fall asleep, fully content with your life decisions. Said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So you're gonna be your boyfriend? Gross, no. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother, mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. So that's a oh. Haha, <laughs> somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. There's a person for that matter. Screw you, I'm the most personest lady in the world. 
So anyway, I'm gonna take her out to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Mom, give me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Annie. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. <laughs> you should go her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lately, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse. That's what it was. Ask her to come with you. Yeah, I was about to make that joke myself. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she could be my friend again afterwards. She just needs to remember. My, my, she just needs to remind her how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray! You're the best. Today's episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Bitch in the Box. One day you'll be a bitch in a box, and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What do you about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play. When I'm done, it's back into the box with you. Really, I kick your ass one of these days. Shh. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Finally. Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise, I want to hang out too. Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No, why? <laughs> just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way, she thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What does that even mean? I mean, she's full of crap, don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I'll allow it. Let's find a way in right now. this metal sheet thing on the wall. Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect, tear it open. What, I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As I literally can't do it, don't know some of the tools at least. No, even though this is flimsy? Yes. I like smart guys or beefy ones. Who asked? I mean, there's a here. Drop off on the other side of the window is too high. I wouldn't mind convincing to jump anyway. Maybe twist her ankles, maybe break her neck. Something wrong? Nah, but we can't go in this way. <clears throat> Use the back of the hammer pull to <coughs> Wow, it sure is. <coughs> Kinda dusty in here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. Ooh, I know. How about some hide and seek? <sighs> You're such a kid. Huh? Andy wants to play too. You do? What? Um, yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play, too, you child. I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. Hundred. Count to a hundred, at least. Okay. And two. Right, let's find a good box to shove her in. Still want to do that? Of course, she said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Lele, you promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Oh, yeah, this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Oh, I don't actually want to walk around. The hell we don't? Place a stick or something between the rings, that'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No, well, she's hunched inside, I thought she'd have the leverage too. Ready or not, here I come. Ah, oh, crap, she counts too fast. Wasn't that fast, really. Ah, <laughs> let's hide, hide! Does that not work? The crate can't be closed. The container is already full. Wooden debris is at his feet. Guess this'll do. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? A stick? No, what do you think, dumbass? Eh, she's <laughs> fine, I guess. Found you. Both of you. Who hides in the same spot, idiots? <laughs> it, it was my spot first, then you're it. <laughs> no way, and he stole my spot, so he is. Yeah, yeah, I'll go count. And he goes to count outside. <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know, a really good one for you, too. Come take a look. Um, okay? <coughs> Think you'll fit in here? 
Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo, who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... Hundred. Oh, shoot, he's coming. Hurry, hurry. Uh, okay, okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Oop. Uh, what was that? <laughs> got you now. It's too weak to throw you off the lid. <coughs> this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up, she's putting up a fight. <laughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> she alright? <coughs> Please. Hey, shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lele. She's just pretending. No one ever died from some dust. <coughs> Come on, just let her out. What? You believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? <coughs> Everyone likes her better. Bet you like her better too. Bet everybody does. I already know. <coughs> I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Come on, I already told you. I don't want... I bet. I bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's... I mean, maybe she did, but... It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. I like you better, Lele. Prove it, liar. Sigh. I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so. I mean, my own brother picks me, picks me over her. I knew it already. Did I not just say... La la la, talk sure is cheap. God damn it. <coughs> there, you happy now? <laughs> yes. Just until morning, okay? Yes, yes, you're the best. And I like you the best, Andy. You hear that? You get to stay there until morning. No, please. <coughs> Ashley, let me out, please. <coughs> Off. Ashley, wait, don't. <coughs> no. Ashley, please. Ashley? Ashley? Are you awake? Jesus Christ, you just murdered someone. Yep. Kinda got the sense that Ashley was a bad egg from the beginning. <laughs> I am now. Um, okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just... God, what the fuck did we do? We're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy. I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died? Uh, yes, I'm um, sorry. He summoned a demon and then died. I'd swear we didn't do it. Yeah, I... We wouldn't have to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What? What the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. Fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I? Whoosh, whoosh, there goes my magic wand. There, I've solved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. See how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Ugh. Like some extreme circumstance stuff. Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First they lock us in for months and then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? And we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. There, there, there. You know, I, I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper, so I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I kind of just, like, kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like, some plan, I don't know. I kept thinking about it. I, I can't fucking sleep, Ashley. It's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. Are you so unbothered? I don't know. I, com I compartmentalized. Kind of like me compartmentalized that guy into different freezers. Ashley. <laughs> Andrew, what is it, Andrew? Bring this up. 
Is it just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, then we can all unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. I think I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. I've got food. Don't you want to keep waiting till they let us out? Well, no, I don't. They throw us in jail right after. I don't know which is worse. We're in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Yeah, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled, Andy and Bailey and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep. sure she would enjoy that, actually. My god, I don't love you that much. God, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the back is just too romantic for you. Pillio hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> your body absorbs some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. Yeah, I'm still here. Alright, you're just not talking enough. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? Looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, everything's turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. That's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, so they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. Diggy won't ask one of them to get us out of here. Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did, but I do think this is our best bet for now. So, what will we ask for? I don't know yet. Okay, and what will we will bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. Just barely woke up. Give me a minute. So this here demon for a human soul, so obviously it's got to be that. We are to get a soul stuck in here. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Thought about it. I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? Second thought, let's not do this. Come on, I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. What's it need? Not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Alright, were there candles in our house? The weirdo one. I think he croaked. He's just a type. He's just a B type, anyways. <sighs> Fine, I'll check it after my round. Warren's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh, shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough. Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. Still gotta find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all the blood is pointing at. No. Go no, for he notices we're not home. And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe they'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. Should be a corpse below then. You get to be that corpse if you don't get to going already. Wait, what did it say? Did the mob do dumb something? What's up? I'm gonna go get the mob. Yeah, I know. I'll be right back. Huh? 
What are you doing here? Oh, shoot. Sadly, the warden soon calls over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so bad for you that I'm going to let you try again. Is it on a timer? Is it number of steps? because it happens as soon as I step on that circle. Oh, closet. That's right. Readings and salutations. Uh-huh. Anybody home? Oh, great. Another suicide. What the? How did you get in here? Whew. Nice save. too pleased with you right now. I wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Lele, let's go play. Let's see, so I thought we got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. Gordon is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. There's a little surprise there, huh? <laughs> so where's your mental breakdown? I'm saying it for later, lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Actually, I am not in for your shit right now. Alright. Ooh, looky here. Key to room 405. Last, you unlock the door. Before we go, Ashley. Huh? Just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. The excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Well, I'm sorry, did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? The point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And now it'll be obvious we did something once this guy shifts and the next one comes looking around. It's best we just care what we can. Well, you might have noticed I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find both my mom and dad. I'm saying all, all that is table. I haven't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I, okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again, because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, fine, whatever. I'm gonna be this flippant about this. It isn't It isn't the authorities you need to worry about. Are you threatening me? I'm not going to go just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're gonna take this to your grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it shows in... Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? It's... I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half of a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad, or any of my so-called friends anymore. One of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling food up to our balcony. It'd be quite the feat if there was something so high. The point is no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Ha! Huh. It's alright, because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. I'm sorry. Guess I lost some brain cells, too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's get the hell out of here already. Okay. So we're almost at the hour mark. Oh, welcome out as fuck off. Nice. Or reads 2 times... 2 times A, 1 B. This is all it took to keep us in a wooden board? It's okay, Andy. I don't have much bustle either. I say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. <sighs> Whatever, what's the slip of paper say? So it reads 2AB. So they're monitoring our blood types? Why? I mean, they did take our blood test, right? You there? 
Neko. Why the fuck is my mouse not freaking? Okay, hold on. My mouse is kind of acting jank. That's weird. Trying to bring up Discord so I can see if Neko signed off. What the hell? Neko, are you there? He says he's still on. What's going on? Okay, they're on mute. Neko, if you can hear me, you're on mute. check in when they, yeah, they check in anyway, so, so yeah, the nurse took our blood samples, so we know our blood types, why were they monitoring the that, though, no note on that door, elevator is out of order, because of course it is, but the staircase is locked, so emergency exit this is, so what, room 401, alright, let's save right quick, Notice, from now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. No, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. Half-eaten cup of noodles. So we're type AB. They didn't give us anything, yeah. Here's documents detailing the selling and inquiring of organs. What the fuck? I seriously don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. Working on it, goddammit. I see a key there. Okay, they got a little surveillance camera. Oh, crap, are we on it? No, it looked like it's recording the second floor. Huh, let me see. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. No, they landed a key to the cold strip and a walkie-talkie. Sorry. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. Not like they have to do anything else and keep curious people away. Pretend to feed us, I guess. Leave then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Yeah, there's a key here. Fourth floor key. Okay, cool. So we can get it that way. So that nothing of interest inside. What? What, I can't take the coat? Come on. So we got a room to 302. I guess we need to go there. I'm gonna stay off the second floor. Where the camera is, so there's 302 right there. And the door reads 2Bs. 2B? Big booty android? It reads 1A, but it's crossed over. So I'm guessing those are people who died, or they're people that. I don't guess that's the only way. Been there is. Alright. Fridge is full of food. Nice. Uh, doodles and drawings. I don't know. I want to talk to her. Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbor's from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out. I found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? That's what I said, why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day. I live like a game, I hope this quarantine never ends. Ah, uh, perfect Ted. Wait, wait, they actually bring you food? Of course, literally anything I want. All you need to do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely. 
Ashley. Fuck you, get out, both of you. Hey, did I give you permission to go there? Before I make a scene, okay, I'm leaving. Well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? Me, wasn't she? Whatever. It's okay to leave her there after she saws, though? Probably not, but you go in there so we can do she'll definitely scream. And the second one comes in and shoots us. Ah, this is so hopeless. Pick our best bet to finish the ritual and use get rid of the second one. Hmm, well, if we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we can use the goddess of soul to offer. Her lazy ass to even leave her room. Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? Maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm luring around the house? Oh, yeah. Okay. Fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyways. Past the hour mark, I'm about ready to call it quits. This is actually starting to get late. Cause I mean, including Yakuza, that's what, four hours? Oh. Just echo messaging me on Discord. No, it's just someone else's thing, alright. And Neko's gone, so I don't really know what to do without her right now, so. I think we're just gonna call that a day. Uh, I need to get out of this chair and get moving. Alright, so, you know the usual deal. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on YouTube, where I'll, where I'll re-upload this, blah blah blah, check out my Ko-Fi. You know, all the deal, social media stuff. Help me to make money playing video games so I can quit doing jobs. Now, safety and peace out, everyone. Why is this not working? Come on. Open. Yes, thank you. Alright, so yeah, we'll uh, play some more tomorrow. Safety and peace out, everyone.